Hey everybody, this is Rock the World again. Sorry it's been a while since I made a video. I know I only have six subscribers, so I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm required to apologize, but for you six subscribers who care about seeing my videos, I apologize. Anyway, um, so... I'm back. Uh, hopefully I'll be making more videos soon. But, in this video, nothing really in specific uh, that I'd like to talk about rather than just uh, the actual the, the new Pokemon Go update. It's not really new anymore. I updated like It's been a while actually maybe like a week or two Not that good with conception of time, but anyway I Was kind of hoping for a lot more We'll just that that if I wrote a paper on it, that would be the name of the paper I was kind of hoping for a lot more underlined a lot like six times because, so yeah, now we have this little buddy thing, and that, I mean, that's great and all, he looks cool and stuff, and I get to spin and shit, but I, what functionality was added? I mean, nothing, practically nothing looks any different. Um, I don't, I, I really, I haven't noticed much of any difference rather than that, um, uh, that little buddy thing maybe there's some other little tidbits but I doubt any of it's been of any kind of use to anyone it's it's almost as if they're making it more like if for anybody who played the original games it, it's it's almost like they're making it more like the trading card game where they focus more on how it looks uh, rather than how it functions because this was an awesome idea in concept and the trailers made it look awesome. And we all know when it came out, it, it kind of fell short of what we thought it was gonna be. But over time, we had generally hoped that it would improve upon itself. And I know it's only been out for maybe three months or so, two, three, four, 18, 26 years. It's been out for long enough for me to, uh, for them, in my mind, for them to release some functionality updates rather than just how it looks because since it started we have actually we've we have lost more features than we have gained and if I see one more damn Pidgey but um literally like since we started we had the radar which was awesome definitely helped you out some uh, and then they just kind of broke and then they just kind of got rid of it and then forced you to update so that you couldn't use the old radar like I was running the old version for a while and then they were like well you got to update so I was like okay well I guess I'm gonna update um, this is before I started making videos but anyway uh, where's the where's the new radar where's the trading where is the uh, battling with people rather than just like battling one Pokemon in a gym it, it's a weird situation that we have found ourselves in for the people who truly love Pokemon and uh, like I do and like I always have that we have now found ourselves in a position where we're not really we're not playing Pokemon we're more like we're more like uh, I don't, you know, I don't even know what to call it. I've never really played a game like this before. And I, I know the title of my channel is Rock the World Gameplay, so maybe I should have better experience with a lot of different games, but to me, this game is just extremely unique, and that's, that's good and bad in a lot of ways. Um, I don't know why that just popped up and said share, share screenshot, but it's this omelet thing. Uh, again, more more apps updating when they don't need to be updating or more apps it, it, they're just suggesting stuff that we don't need like I would have much rather had trading than this it looks cool with him standing behind me and all even though I look extremely emotionless Literally, look look at me I'm just standing there but uh, I would I would have much rather had trading or battling face to face you know, with trainers or maybe adding a little bit more of the original games rather than this kind of glamour shot that, that we're given now. It's like they, f they focus a lot more on how the game looks rather than how the game works. And I think until they add the features that we have been waiting on since the day we downloaded the game, 
I don't think it's going to make... I, I don't think any update's going to make an impact until they start adding trading and battling with people face-to-face. -face. I think those are the two things. That's what we... To me, when I first downloaded it, or when I first heard about it, I thought immediately, I was like, gonna catch Pokemon, gonna beat all my friends, gonna trade for cool shit. That was immediately what I thought of. I didn't think about gyms, or Pokestops, or um, all the 50 billion Pidgeys that I run into every day playing this game. I thought about, you know, actually incorporating Pokemon into real life. And maybe that's childish. Me as a 21 year old, maybe I shouldn't say that, but for the people that really appreciate games and good games and what they can do for you and how they make you feel without trying to sound like a therapist, it's an important, it's an important part of it. It is. When you're playing a scary game, you want to get scared. When you're playing an adventure game, you want to get excited. And when you're playing a game like Pokemon, you want to explore, you want to feel, you want to feel like, you know, you're the very best there ever was. That's where that theme song comes in. But uh, maybe that's just my thoughts, and maybe I sound crazy, but if you agree, or you don't agree, or you're sort of on the fence, and you just want to drop a comment, a like, share, you know, whatever you feel like doing, do it. Even if it's a dislike, I will welcome a dislike, that's fine. Just so long as we get sort of a discussion going. If you dislike it, put it in the comments why. I'll totally listen. I will respond to everybody. Like I said, I don't get too many comments. I don't get a whole lot of hits, and I don't have a whole lot of subscribers. So if you comment, I will comment back. I promise. So if you like this video, drop a like. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. Either one, leave a comment in the description about, or not the description, at the bottom of the description. I don't know why I said bottom like that, but below the description, you know where the comments are. You're on YouTube. Anyway, drop a comment. Let me know why. And um, yeah, this is Rock the World, and I will see you guys in the next one.